This is Akash Wani. In the program Spotlight Now, we bring you a discussion on International Day for Biological Diversity, from Agreement to Action to Build Back Biodiversity. The participants are Dr. C.K. Varshne, Environmentalist, and Arjun J. Chaudhary, Akash Wani Correspondent. The United Nations has uh, declared this day as uh, the International Day for Biological Diversity or World Biodiversity Day. It's a sanctioned international day for the promotion of biodiversity issues. It is observed on every May 22nd. The theme for this year, the Biodiversity Day, is from the agreement to action to build back biodiversity. So, Mr. Varshan, let's uh, begin our discussion. Can you tell us what is biodiversity and how important is this for our planet? Biodiversity is sum total of all living organisms, including plants, animals, microorganisms, which may include whales as well as the microscopic organisms like bacteria and fish. So it is a generic term which is used for the collection of all types of living systems that we have on our earth. This is what is biodiversity. It is not only the question of the individual organisms, it is also a question of their interrelationship with the habitat where they are found, as well as the relationship among themselves. For example, I can say that the small birds as well as the bees are the pollinators, and it is they which help in pollinating flowers which ultimately results into fruit and forming seed. And these are in turn eaten up by many animals, including bats, monkeys, elephants, and so on. And as they eat, they distribute, defecate these seeds and distribute them in, over a period of distance or period or area. And thus they help in propagating these trees, which ultimately grow and do photosynthesis and produce oxygen on which all of us depends. Not only that living systems depend on oxygen, but even non-living systems like our automobiles which use petrol and burning of the coal in the thermal power plant, all of them need oxygen for survival and for their functioning. And this oxygen, the only source is living green plants. So you can see the role of the plants, animals and others in really making the system work. And therefore, the biodiversity is very central for our survival as well as for our well-being and as well as for supporting our new adventures and including industrialization to a certain extent. Dr. Varshne, as an environmental expert, what are the major challenges to biodiversity now and uh, how is the biodiversity loss influencing climate change? Biodiversity is in peril because there is a lot of pressure on biodiversity because we have recklessly exploiting it and without realizing its true value for our own welfare. To give you one example that we have got now the question of pollution, habitat destruction, land use change as well as the climate change and all these things are together pressurizing biodiversity and decimating it. And it is estimated that about 1 million living species are at the verge of extinction unless this situation is made to change immediately and on a priority basis. In other words, one living species out of eight is in danger of extinction. Many species in the past or immediate past have been lost due to the reckless exploitation of the valuable species as well as habitat loss. Now, to give you a few examples, we have got lost passenger pigeon, we have lost dodo bird, which was a flightless bird found in Mauritius, where, you know, these uh, settlers came and uh, they found the bird very easy to catch. And finally, the whole species is exterminated. And once a species is exterminated, it is gone forever. It cannot be brought back. So I think that uh, all of them play a very important part in running the global enterprise that we call Earth. And this is the only place among the planetary system where life exists. And it is this life which makes conditions possible for human beings to survive a healthy and a purposeful and a very well-supported life. 
for example the oxygen that we breathe is required for us and this is produced by the green plants and there is no other source which produces oxygen for us and at the same time they consume carbon dioxide which is a major source of global warming so i think on one hand they really prevent or at least subdue the global warming impact caused by the emission of carbon dioxide and at the same time provide life giving gas oxygen for us to breathe not only for us for any other and all organism including fish microorganism everybody needs oxygen to breathe to release energy and to survive so you can see that all of them is related dr varshne what is the significance of celebrating international day of biological diversity and what is this year's theme a signify i think this year's theme signifies very clearly that the time for action is there because we are already in a emergency situation and it says that agreement to action now at the last cop meeting which took place in montreal which is known as twinning montreal biodiversity agreement plan and under this plan uh, certain targets have been fixed that 30% of the land and 30% of the aquatic habitat including ocean fresh water have to be conserved and allowed to remain only for the use and well being of biodiversity because if we have such a stock available on our earth then i think the human beings can survive well on this earth but because of our industrialization and reckless urbanization and because of the habitat destruction for example we are really decimating biodiversity with the impunity and i think this day reminds us of our responsibility and our duty to protect and to really popularize the concept so that among friends among families and among the society we promote the concept of biodiversity and tell people about the importance of biodiversity not for the sake of biodiversity but actually for our own welfare biodiversity is an essential resource without which mankind can seldom think that they can survive so i think these are very important aspect of biodiversity and for this there are few items that have been listed let us reduce our food wastage by 50% let us reduce the excessive use of fertilizer and pesticide by 50% by 2030 and let us also share the values and the use and the advantages of biodiversity among one and all so i think it is a global health which means a healthy biodiversity if we do not really do this and if we over exploit and you over interact with the biodiversity and wild then i think the chances are that we get all kinds of diseases and i think recently the covid is a good example where it is said that it has originated because of our too much of intermingling with the wild animals and the virus gets jumped from the wild animal to the human beings and has created catastrophe of enormous economic loss as well as of pain and what not so i think it is an unprecedented calamity that has befallen upon mankind because of our careless handling of biodiversity so i think let us respect biodiversity let us protect it for ourselves and it is important that every country should revise their national plan and align them to the objectives set by cop 20 at the montreal meeting and then submit their revised plan to the secretariat of biodiversity convention so that an evaluation can be made to really assess that what needs to be done and how this is to be step up to meet these objective which have been set for 2030 so 30% of the global earth need to be kept free from human interference and only for the purpose of biodiversity by 2030 so i think this is a objective which we have to work Dr Varshne what is the status of biodiversity conservation now what is the stand taken by developed and developing nations in this regard in your opinion have the various global organizations like IUCN CBD WWF etc potent enough to tackle issues faced in contemporary biodiversity conservation challenges i think it is the organization like IUCN and WWF which are really doing a yeoman service in giving us an assessment of the current status of biodiversity 
so that the governments can on the basis of this scientific data that they collect and the assessment that they make that they can take their decision and one of the important decision that has been taken is that the developed country should provide at least 20 billion dollars per year by 2025 for the smaller countries and the developing countries and the poor countries to really take care of the biodiversity because in absence of the economic constraints many of these poor countries or developing countries really harvest the biodiversity and sell in the international market or at least are unknowingly destroy them for their immediate and short term profit or gain so this is number 1 and second thing is that by 2030 the assistance should become 30 billion per year from the developed countries for protection of the biodiversity because biodiversity is needed by all to give you an example most of the fishing is done in the tropical waters which is ultimately consumed by the temperate country people and so on and so forth because of the geographical situation in which they are so i think that it is a global resource and therefore it is necessary that this global resource must be conserved and i think uh, for the global biodiversity program for succeeding it is estimated that 200 billion dollars are needed so i think these resources have to be raised by the countries both by private sector as well as by the government sources and institutions so that the biodiversity protection can take place dr vashna human action the devastating every corner of the world 1 million species are at risk of extinction how can we leverage a new flagship program mission lifestyle for in the environment in terms of the agreement to action in areas of biodiversity conservation and arrest the biodiversity loss actually it is the consumerism and over exploitation which is extremely important to really cut down and to stop uh, for example you take rhino it is the over exploitation which has resulted in its precarious status that we have and a large number of birds have become very critically endangered in fact many of the wetlands have dried out and uh, they have been drained for agriculture for industrialization for urbanization and as a result numbers of individual species have dwindled very heavily 70% of migratory birds have lost their population because of these kinds of destruction so you can imagine that 1 million species if they are suffering from threat of endangerment then i think it is very important more than that there are certain invasive species which also need to be contained and i think there has to be a proper monitoring and alarming system to stop them so that they do not disturb the natural biodiversity of a different region in which they invade so i think there are a large number of private sector ngos government organizations and institutions and average individuals have to join hands to protect the biodiversity and the day that we are celebrating today is actually meant for popularizing and making people know about the importance of biodiversity in their lives and for their welfare fact of the matter is that every day we have to be very sensitive to biodiversity so that biodiversity survives and i think this is the message which need to be conveyed and which need to be popularized on the day of biodiversity day for one and everyone to support the life on this planet and to protect every species which is there and which is a part of the global biodiversity thank you so much dr c k vashne to discuss on this critical topic of biological diversity on may 22nd which has been declared as the international day for biological diversity from agreement to action to build back biodiversity thank you so much dr vashne once again thank you you were listening to a discussion on international day for biological diversity from agreement to action to build back biodiversity The participants were Dr C K Varshney environmentalist and Arjun J Chaudhary Akashwani correspondent This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of Akashwani You can listen to it on our mobile app News on AIR This program is also available on our YouTube channel News on AIR official 